Yo guys, what is going on? Alex7 here. Welcome back to another TDUSC video. This is obviously the trailer breakdown for the head-to-head -head trailer that came out a little bit a couple minutes ago, to be honest. But anyways, let's get straight into it by let me telling you the description of the trailer. This reads, this is your first glimpse at the new test drive of the universe. The Solar Crown is your goal to place chips on the table and go all in with your style. Leave nothing to chance and settle your disputes on the street. The brand new test drive of them accuses the DNA from the first games and revamps it for the modern era. You have the freedom to progress however you like, and the classic open championship returns as well. Live your best life, race, cruise, hang out with your friends until the sun goes down and even after. So that is the description, but let's get to the trailer breakdown. So obviously, come on, the first two cars you're going to notice is an Aston Martin DB11, the new one of course, and none other than the Range Rover SVR. Now the first things you're going to notice is a couple of new confirmed cars from Bentley, Mercedes, Bugatti, Aston Martin, Lamborghini over there on the right hand side where my mouse is, Ferrari is here, SV I believe is a logo right here, you got another Audi logo here. Now this makes you think is that obviously car keys is going to be a thing in TDSC. Now previously it was a thing in TDU2, but not everything every brand and every manufacturer got their own key. Some of them looked the same, but now it looks like they're going a lot more in detail and I hope that is true because that would be beautiful. But anyways, this is looking crazy so far. Picks up his key, she picks up the SV, so one is Aston Martin and one is the SVR obviously. Harry, you just got a Ferrari uh, key hanging up. I'm not sure what this one is and I'm not sure what this one is. Some jewelry on the table, a mirror, so this is probably in your house. But again, it looks like the bracelet, earrings, all that is going to be in the game as well. So they really weren't lying when they said true character customization. But let's go on next. Obviously, here is your SVR. Now the one thing I want to look at is an EV charger right where my mouse is hovering. Electric cars, confirm the TDSC, could that be the Rimac, could that be the Tesla, I'm not too certain, but I'm sure we're gonna be finding out more very soon in the near future. Anyways, let's continue here. You turn on the cars, blah, 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 indicators, you guys saw that. Now, start, stop engine, is that is that gonna be a thing? Like, are you gonna be able to turn off your engine on and off? TDSC, I hope so, that'll be beautiful. Anyways, let's continue this. The first huge hint. The huge T's, 0222N. I don't, the people that don't call KT just know what to do. November 2nd, 2022. This is quite possible. Uh, my guess was late 2022 to early 2023. And November 2nd, 2022 makes a lot of sense, especially with this. So, Nakon, I mean, that's pretty interesting. I don't think it's February, guys, because then you'll be disregarding the letter N. And obviously, that doesn't make any sense. But November, the second, 2022, makes perfect sense for this game. But anyways, <laughs> that is an exact date and everything. Cannot wait. Let's continue this breakdown. This license plate kind of has me a bit off. A24E. Now, if I do find out what this is after, I'll make a dedicated video for it because it probably would be pretty huge. But other than that, I'm not too certain what this one is. I'll let you guys speculate on the, the comment section down below on what you think it is. As, as a community, trying to like piece this one together. I'm not too certain. It's not a month. It's not a day. It's not a car. Could it be an island? I'm not too certain. I don't think it even makes sense, but we're gonna have to wait and see. But I'll let you guys again decide that in the comment section below. Now again, EV charges in the background, you're in your parking garage. My question is, can you actually see other players' cars in the parking garage of a condo like you would be in real life? That would be pretty interesting. I'll leave that up for speculation. Now this one, obviously huge, the casino single-handedly, the hugest, biggest thing from TD2 is coming back into the SC, the casino. Bro, if you look at my live reaction, I went wild. I could not believe the casino's coming, but this was my favorite thing about PS3 and TD2. And Alan Janu, thank you so much for being able to bring that back. I was kind of scared, I didn't think it would come back, but it is. Anyways, you got drinks here, liquor. So obviously if there's liquor, this kind of gives the T for teen or 18 plus for the game, I'm not too certain. But anyways, you got a watch here, so watch is customizable. On this side, I'm not sure where that is. You got a cigar here as well. And I'm not too certain what this piece of thing or fabric is right there. Anyways, he wagers, she wagers. These two are racing out and they stop right here. As you can see, nail polish, rings, the customization that they're really going for the characters are like, what game can you say is like TDU? None. And Nakon and KT, I'm telling you guys, have faith. They're gonna slay it. 
Anyways, continue. Gloves, obviously another customization thing. The racing, so and so. 23 degrees, partly cloudy. That is the key information for the island of TDSC. Now, that's not going to tell us much, but at least we know it's not raining. So it's not the UK. Looking at you, Forza, I'm pretty certain, guys, it's not the UK. I'm positive. The island, again, top three, Tenerife, uh, Gran Canaria, Corsica, or even Reunion, or even San Miguel, or Madeira. It's going to be a vast and tropical island. We're not going to the UK. You don't use words like vast island for to explain the UK. That makes zero sense. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. As you can see, she wagers keys to her car. Maybe that means you can wager your cars in the casino. Hopefully, you guys don't wager me. So I'll take your house, your keys, your car, your house, anything. But anyways, let's continue this. Pretty interesting. I race off into the sunlight. You don't get to see anything about the island. They were pretty, <laughs> they were pretty careful this time. Last time we could somewhat guess island, but this not really much about the weather. The real interesting thing here is. PS5, PS4, Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Epic, Steam, and... What? Nintendo Switch? KT, you guys are doing something crazy. They already have a Switch port for Rims Racing and WC10. I didn't think it was possible, but KT... Oh, bro, you guys are doing wonders. That is beautiful. Now, obviously, no exclusivity on this game. It's coming on Steam and Epic Games at the same time. Beautiful. The next chapter is going to be July 2021, which is Nakong Connect. Last year, Nakong Connect was in July 7th, to be exact. So, this is July. We're probably going to be seeing some trailers. And the thing is, guys, Rims Racing releases in August. WC10 releases in September. TDSC, most likely, next year, November, on the 2nd. What could we possibly hear from Nakon and Nakon Connects? Could it be the island reveal? I do, could it be a gameplay reveal? <laughs> Bro, who knows? It could be a gameplay reveal because I'll bring a ton of people to Nakon Connect in general. Marketing. You gotta think it right. You gotta think carefully when you market a game. And Nakon and Casey are doing it well. Guys, this is my trailer breakdown. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more TDSC content. Oh, and if you're watching the video until here, the dev interview. <laughs> That I'll save for another day on another video, but it's coming very soon. Well, who knows? Very soon, soon in the future, but I can't wait to share more about that with you guys. Other than that, I'm Mark7, and I'm out, guys. Peace.